All right, leave it to the expert. We're ranking sandwiches today. Before we get started, like and subscribe, and I'll personally send you a Big Mac. Most ratchet shit I've heard, fat ass. Sandys! Hey, Trump, you ever get approved to be on my 600-pound life? Not yet. Still waiting for them to approve my promo video. I ate 52 Big Macs, 10 Oreo McFlurries, and 24 large fries in an hour, but I think I could have done better. We'll see how it goes anyway. We're starting with the Philly cheesesteak. Makes my mouth water. What doesn't make your mouth water? Also, they don't serve this at McDonald's. You know that, right? Fuck off. This Sandy is pretty bussin', but have to be in the right mood for it. Can't be cheesing my steaks too much. I'd go B-tier because there is a huge quality gap between restaurants when I order the Philly cheese. Some assholes put peppers on it, some assholes forget the onions, and some assholes from Philly actually use cheese whiz on that shit. Like, why do the people who invented the Philly cheese steak have to ruin it with cheese whiz? Cheese whiz is a revolutionary concoction, Joe. How can you rank a Philly cheese steak and not like cheese whiz? I've only ever heard broke fat fucks say they like cheese whiz. And you're not broke. Fake news. Cheese whiz is fucking amazing. I eat this shit right out the spray can. Obama, what do you have to say before I rank this? Oh, thanks, Trump. The PCS is a solid option, but pretty hit or miss. People either really like it or they really don't. For me, if there's ketchup on it, I'd give it a C tier, or if there's no ketchup, I'd put it into B tier. What the fuck? I wish I hadn't let you speak, Obama. Didn't know you were one of those. Ketchup really makes the sandwich. You're delusional. Gonna put this one in A tier. Next up, we have an American favorite, the BLT. Oh, I love the buttered lettuce tuna sandwich. Always hits the spot. I'll go a tear. The what and the what what? Buttered lettuce tuna? Joe, this is a bacon lettuce tomato sandwich. I thought we could do just one tear list without you smoking crack. What happened? I'm good, Trump. Stop tweaking. You're just mad that I have better acronyms than you. Buttered lettuce tuna actually sounds better than bacon lettuce tomato, not gonna lie. Not sure what you guys are saying, but I'm appalled. The BLT is a staple with easy access across the country. It's always a great option when you don't know what to get and doesn't break the bank. However, there are definitely other sandwiches I prefer a lot more. Gonna put this one into B tier since you crackheads don't even know what sandwich we're discussing. Okay, next we have the chicken parm hero. This is white people shit. I'm black as fuck and I love this, Sandy. The fuck are you on about, mate? The chicken parm hero is the best Mexican sandwich I've ever tasted. It's like, wow, chicken parm can't get any better. Just kidding, let's put some bread on it. Boom, instant S tier. Sacrilegion. What level of dementia do you have to have to actually truly genuinely believe that chicken parm is Mexican? No dementia, fuckface. I just pop hella beans. Don't be a bomba clot. You know those containers that they give elderly people with each little bucket having a huge letter to represent what day of the week it is so that they can all their pills? Joe has one for every half hour of the day, except all the pills are black market. No cap. Okay, whatever. This chicken parm hero is good. Don't get it twisted, but it's always too much for me to eat. Also, ain't no way in hell I'm going to eat the whole thing and get sauce on me, D tier. Wow, hating on the chicken parm hero. I see how it is. Putting this one into A tier because it really is a phenomenal sandwich. But Obama, as much as I hate to level with your annoying bitch ass, I can't go anywhere without people knowing I had a chicken parm hero because of the huge tomato stains on my fucking blazer. Okay, now we have the turkey club. This is old man's boof, Donald. Please have some class trap star. This sandwich has stood the testament of time and has its own unique feeling of satisfaction from a slightly above average experience of fresh deli meat, lettuce, tomato, and sometimes cheese and bacon that both satisfies and also nourishes your body like no other sandwich. Yeah, I have some fresh meat for you right here, soy boy, horse ass, licking ass. Please, Joseph, the adults are speaking. He's absolutely 100% correct. From Seinfeld to real life, the Turkey Club has fed and watered many an American as they and I don't say this lightly, erected the greatest infrastructure the world has ever seen like in these places like New York, Florida, Boston, among others. Kind of a New York thing, though, in it, chap? Oh, God, is this when Joe won't stop talking in an English accent? Core blimey, mate, what are you doing in me pockets? Joe, what in God's name is going on over there? A wee lad just came in here and picked me pockets? Oh, what will the missus say? Right, I'm going to put the club in A tier. Next, we have the Reuben sandwich. Hey, what even is this anyway? It's a corned beef sandwich on rye bread with Swiss cheese and sometimes some other things with Russian dressing and or special Reuben sauce. Sounds bussin'. It is, Joe. I can hear you salivating. Go drink some water, you dried prune looking ass. And since you don't even know what this is, you can just stay there and shut the fuck up or go to bed. No fair. Jill, where's my Snuggie? The Reuben is a great sandwich. I think it hits the spot when you're looking for something to fill you up without being too hard to chew. 
The corned beef is very flavorful and mixed with the rye bread and Swiss cheese is a very filling combination of goodness. This is the sandwich for distinguished men only. Yes, I very much enjoy a nice Reuben sandwich when I want something filling, but that's not going to make me feel gross. However, you are far from a distinguished gentleman Trump, and you frequent McDonald's more than any other restaurant. You're a rich man who chooses to be a peasant, not a distinguished gentleman. Put this shit into S tier if you're so distinguished. Distinguished men can still enjoy a McFlurry and a Big Mac every once in a while. You un-American string of black licorice. I think I will go S tier, but definitely not because of what you said. Next up, we have the BBQ roast beef sandwich, sometimes served on garlic bread, sometimes regular bread. I've had some great ones. I've had some okay ones. I think this needs to go C tier because it can either be very dry and a pain to eat or extremely delicious. Obama, we know you don't like roast beef. You're more of a hot dog kind of guy. The roast beef sandwich is a B tier for me. I don't think it's the best of the cold cuts crew and it's a little too dry for me. How good the sandwich is depends entirely on the barbecue sauce. You know, you both have great points. Every pussy I know would say the same thing. Whoa. Come on now. The roast beef sandwich is definitely the best one so far. This is the best combination of ingredients and sauces. The salty and juicy red meat with a nice sweet and tangy BBQ sauce and mozzarella cheese. Put it on garlic bread and you have a perfect sandwich. S tier Andale. Next, we have the tuna salad sandwich. What's Jill doing on this list? You are revolting, Joe. Gee, the tuna salad is okay. It's good every once in a while, and it slaps with American cheese. From time to time, I thoroughly enjoy this sandwich on toasted rye bread. This shit slaps. How many other sandwiches have fish on them? Exactly, bitch. You know this stands alone and deserves S tier. Do it for the fish. What the fuck have the fucking fish ever done for me, Obama? Put this in D tier, Donald. Yeah, what have the fish ever done for us? Joe, that was a great point. We need great trade deals, favorable ones. We need to make America great again, and I don't think the fish are worth the effort and time of our great American people. I'm putting this into B tier, but try it on toasted rye bread, though shit is amazing. Now, gentlemen, brace yourself. We have the egg salad sandwich. This shit is mid, but I do enjoy it in the morning from time to time before work. Ha! Obama has to commute to work. What a weenie pants. Fuck you, Joe. I miss my work from home job. Me too. Sigh, I miss it so, so dearly. Why'd you have to rub it in, Joey boy? Ha ha, suck it! I just called for a cream soda from the White House butler. Cream soda? Fuck, don't be jealous, Donald. Keep it together. Okay, where were we? Ah, uh, yes, egg salad. E.W. fucking trash. Throw it in the dumpster. Egg salad ain't too bad. Egg salad is putrid, Joe. Only people born in the 30s and 40s would like this shit. What do you mean my mother always packed me an egg salad sandwich to take to school and me and the other boys would eat our egg salad sandwiches by the creek? I will never forget cheersing my buddies with our egg sandwiches, making sure to get every sandwich, and then scarfing them down together before setting up camp for the night. What the fuck? Cheersing egg sandwiches? Truly a touching story, Joe, but we live outside of a little rascal's film and this shit is garbage. Your old ass gums probably like it, though. You don't even have to chew it. Trash tier. Next up, we have the PB and J. I'm allergic to peanut butter and 37 other foods, so I'll sit this one out. Where's my inhaler? That's sad, Joe. Pathetic, really. The PB&J has got to be S-tier. This classic combo is so perfect, they even use it to describe love. Whoa, always jumping the gun, Obama. The sandwich is okay, but it's much better with cream cheese or cashew butter in place of the peanut butter. It doesn't fill me up either. You could go to an all-you-can-eat buffet and still leave hungry, Pudge Boy. That was mean. Shut the fuck up, Joe. It just means I am more huggable than you, Joe. And you never even had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, so shh. Putting this into C tier because the peanut butter really should get a participation trophy instead of championing this jelly sandwich. Sheesh, I am so fucking hungry. I need to get a 10 PC McNuggets and a cookie tote from McDonald's stat. Let's finish this list off with the grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, baby, this is the best. Michelle or myself can always whip these up super cheap and easy, and it's the best tasting sandwich ever. And I'm not talking that weird three cheese or Gouda grilled cheese bullshit. The American cheese grilled cheese, not that bootleg grilled cheese is tier. That's probably because Michelle is a man and can't cook. So you have to settle for a quick grilled cheese sandwich. Imagine marrying a woman who can't cook. Couldn't be me. My mama would be utterly disappointed. Yeah, the grilled cheese has to go S tier. When the Great Depression came around, this was all I ate as a young man in the workforce. Except I'm lactose intolerant. Had me shitting all the way up on the 84th floor of the Empire State Building down on the crowds below. 
There were no bathrooms while we were working up there, as nothing had been constructed yet, and we all worked for three cents an hour, so I would just have to dump in my harness, and after a while, my pants would split open and unleash a deadly litter of fat shits onto the street below. Dude, this has to be the last sandwich. Please, God, please. Yep, it is. S-tier, and have a great night, everyone.